Okay. Hey, Gold Team, we are back with the tip of the month from Terry Bolgeski for Old Republic Home Protection. Terry, hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Brent. So, Terry, uh, give us an update. What's going on in the world of home protection with uh, all this craziness out in the weather and everything else that's happening? Yeah. Well, I will tell you, phones started ringing off the hook for warranties the week before July. So get on board because <laughs> people are ordering them and it's been busy and people are getting them on their listings again. So um, if you haven't caught that bandwagon, jump on board with us. Love Terry, that. We were, Terry, we were just talking about before we got on and we're going to sound like a broken record for the people that were on my uh, call, Zoom call Wednesday, but um, Neil Costello, he told a story about a situation where he should have had a home protection. We were talking about in that meeting, and you and I were just talking about this, this market is ready-made and has been for the last two years for the reason why agents absolutely need to be doing the home protection. Absolutely, absolutely. need to be doing home Too warranty. Cold. I mean, I mean, you have a perfect time for a warranty we have had for the last two years, really. I mean, think about it. You're having to waive stuff for your buyers. So why not have them be protected with a home warranty? And you're having to waive stuff for your buyers. So why not have some liability protection for yourself in real estate? Exactly. So, I mean, there are two major reasons to have a home warranty. Well, they feel that everybody feels uncomfortable about waiving everything. So mm -hmm. By doing this, at least you're taking yourself out of that realm of no protection. Right. And the person that's going to appreciate that led them down that path is going to be the agent that, that put that in front of them. So, right. And yeah. a quick story, and I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys before or not, but um, young lady bought a house on Laclede Station down around the corner from me. And and I know, and so some people aren't waiving inspections, right? They're doing them. So this young lady did do an inspection. I've actually seen it. Um, her agent shared it with me. We don't require them, but she shared it with me. So she did an inspection and everything was old, but everything was working. So sometimes just doing an inspection and saying, well, everything works, they're fine, is not always the case because this young lady did one. She closed. She's now been in the house for two or three months and she has had her stove, hot water heater, and most recently her air conditioner go out. And wow. she has gotten it all covered. And it's been about $8,000 worth of coverage. Um, and she shared with me, she would never have had the money to pay for those repairs um, because she thought they were all working. So she thought she was okay. She knew they were old. She needed to budget, but guess what? They broke. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, not everyone's going to have time to budget when they're old, they can break right away. So, um, you know, for 700. What was that statistic, Terry, that you yeah. shared with me before? Yes, we've, um, I may have mentioned it, but there's 77% of homes are going to have some type of repair needed the first year. And about 56% of those homes, it's going to be a more expensive repair, you know, over a thousand dollars. And these are unexpected repairs and they just adjusted the number. It was 50 some percent that um, didn't have more than a thousand dollars for um, a repair saved, but they just upped that number since inflation and said 61% do not have more than a thousand dollars saved for an unexpected repair. So when you look at those numbers, it's kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, um, I was with a lender at a golf tournament the other day and he took a call on the golf cart from somebody he was the lender for a year ago on a house and they were calling him to tell them he could, they couldn't afford the house. They wow. needed to know what they could do, that they could not afford to stay in that house. So people are getting in over their heads with what they're spending and the repairs that are coming up and stuff. So let's try to protect them a little bit um, with a home warranty. The other thing I want to bring up real quick, I'm not saying it's Remax Gold doing it. It's across the board in St. Louis that I'm seeing this. Um, agents are getting building inspections worked out and they're getting warranties in lieu of maybe some repairs and stuff on the building inspection. But unfortunately, that's as far as it's going. Um, they're maybe not putting an amendment into their company. They're not calling me. Um, that building inspection um, you know, doesn't give you a warranty. Like it's, it's a secret warranty at that point. Um, so you've got to get that on an amendment to the title company, um, or you've got to call me to order one. Um, 
you know, so just don't be, you know, it's unfortunate because then people have something break after closing and they call on a, they think they're calling on a claim, but they don't have a warranty. Um, you're, so th you're, you're saying they get confused about it, Terry, that they, they, well, they don't recover. know. They, the buyer knows that they had it agreed upon in the building inspection. So they mm -hmm. try to call in a repair and, you know, even the agent at that point is trying to help them call in a claim but forgets that like it never went any further than that building inspection. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that that's on an amendment or however your company, your brokerage wants you to handle that, that that gets to someone so that it's charged at closing so that I or yourself order it online on the portal um, because it becomes a big problem when the people have something break and now they don't have the warranty that was agreed upon. So now they want the warranty and they wanna know who's paying for their repair. Mm. and they want you to pay for it because you knew about it in the building inspection. So I'm just saying, like, be careful, make sure that gets to the next step, um, that it gets paid for at closing and that it gets ordered. Um, that's really important. Yeah, good tip. Yeah. Good so, tip. That needs to be happening yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. And don't forget leverage, you know, leverage myself. Like, if you're busy showing property, writing warranties, you don't have time to sit on the phone for 30 minutes and go over every warranty plan with your buyers, mm -hmm. right? Or your sellers. So have them call my cell. You have my cell on everything. Um, it actually works out really good because that way I can ask them what they're buying, what the ages are, and then I can go over the plans with them. And then they really know what kind of coverage they want that they think is going to be the best for them. And um, even if the seller's only giving them a standard, they know if they want to pay to upgrade it. Um, it saves you time and they get the plan they really want. Perfect. Yeah. Good stuff, Terry. Okay. Well, here we roll into August, right? I know it's August. A little, we high, go. little more heat coming, but that's okay. Lots here of water. Go. The tomato plant will grow. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one tomato on it. But that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Just let that one be good. Yeah. All right, Don't Terry. Thanks. Full coverage. Oh, yeah. Because we still have another month and a half probably of pool. So if good. anybody wants to know about pool coverage, tell them to call me. Good point. Yeah, we do probably have about six weeks left. Yeah, we do, for sure. Terry. Um, awesome coverage. So look forward to seeing everyone. Terry, thanks so much. Yeah. Old Republic, home protection with Terry. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, Terry.